Welcome to complete SQL tutorial video series. In this video, I am going to start very important topic, next topic, uh, which is the uh, user defined function. User defined function is also a uh, play very important role in the SQL in any, uh, all area like the data analytics or the uh, data scientist or the business analyst or the uh, database developer. So uh, like the store procedure, uh, this is the this is also very important topic uh, uh, for the uh, interview point of view. So user defined function and the store procedure uh, play around 40% interview question. They will cover the 35 to 40% interview uh, question uh, based on this topic only. So uh, next uh, uh, couple of uh, five to six videos is related to the uh, user defined function. So I will discuss in the detail how you can create the uh, user defined function, how you can utilize the user defined function and uh, uh, also I will provide you a couple of the real time use cases which is frequently used into the uh, real time. So uh, before starting I am just recommending you uh, but just uh, if you not get a chance uh, just you can complete the store procedure uh, first before starting the user defined function if you not completed so you will get some better understanding uh, you will get uh, what exactly we have the difference in the uh, user defined function as compared to the uh, store position so uh, let's start with the uh, this video that understand what exactly user defined function is there so a uh, basic uh, what is the definition of the user defined function so before starting the definition uh, we already learned the some to, some type of the uh, inbuilt function right uh, okay so uh, we have the some type of the date time function we already covered uh, we already covered some type of the like uh, if you uh, remember we already covered the some type of the uh, string function uh, if you uh, if i can recap you uh, the video so here uh, when whenever we discuss about the uh, some uh, sql inbuilt function so we have the some replace function, stuff function, and uh, date time function, uh, pet index, care index. So the, basically, this type of the function, uh, which already available in the uh, SQL. So just you need to be used. But what will be happen if you have the random requirement? Uh, normally, a repeatable requirement you getting. Uh, let's see example. Like for example, uh, suppose if you have on daily basis. Uh, uh, you are doing some type of the calculation, complex calculation uh, based on the, your requirement. So you are doing same activity on a daily basis. Okay. So you can create that complex calculation in convert into the function and uh, store uh, into the database and whenever that calculation is required, just you can call again and again. So th this will be save all time. This will be save uh, the time of other developer as well uh, for example the required same type of the requirement they can use the function okay so this is the beauty of the function so exactly the sql server user defined function are routines that accept parameter sim uh, user defined function can accept the parameter perform an action whatever action do you want to perform just you can do the calculation such as a complex calculation and return the result set action as a value so after the calculation perform the result the result set the return value can either be a single okay or the result set like uh, the data in the form of the table like row and the column so this is the simple definition of the uh, user defined function then the next question uh, each and every student we have the uh, then why we use the uh, uh, user defined function in other terms we can also say that uh, what is the advantage of the user defined function if we can use so basically the first advantage is that they allow modular programming so what is the modular programming modular programming is nothing but uh, we can uh, reuse the code okay so one time you can create you can store in the database and that can be used any number of the time so you can create the function once store in a database and call it any number of time in our program so user defined function can be modified independently of the program source code so uh, whenever we have the requirement is changed 
okay so just you can modify you can alter the function and change the requirement uh, so uh, the it will be uh, impact it will be reflect where the function is used like any uh, any requirement any report any any area uh, which is the use it will automatically reflect so no no need to go again all places and need to be modify the code so this is a very a uh, big shape of the timing of the developer point of view and the client point of view and uh, always the function is the uh, faster execution same like the store procedure and uh, also they store they can reduce the network traffic as well so uh, basically network traffic in the sense uh, they in they uh, uh, execute very faster as compared to the normal code so coming to the uh, next that is the types of the uh, function so uh, we already have the uh, three type of the function that is the first one is the scalar function uh, second one is the inline table value function third one is the multi statement table value function so here i am in this video i am discussing the only basic uh, but uh, we have the uh, in the detail next video so you can see we have the 59 a scalar uh, uh, we have the inline will the in multi statement table value function i will provide you the create uh, real time demonstration how you can create it uh, how you can use it each and everything but now here i am discussing that what exactly we have the definition here so basically a scalar function uh, return the uh, single value okay so whenever you use the scalar function they return the single value and the uh, inline table value function they basically return the table data in the tabular format like row and the column but uh, we have the a specific table uh, we need to be use the return data type as a table but multi statement table value function we can uh, customize it like uh, we can use the uh, table variable and we can uh, norm we can explicitly declare the uh, variable table variable and define the value means uh, we can manually uh, pass the column name i will discuss in the detail so you will better understanding and this uh, also, also the result will be in the tabular format okay so i will discuss in the next video in the detail uh, how we can create the user defined function in a scalar function uh, how the sql engine differentiate this is the scalar function or this is the inline this is the multi statement uh, value function we'll discuss in the detail so uh, thank you so much for watching this video in the uh, till the end we'll meet again in next video thank you so much